Hey people, it is Wednesday, November the 16th, right? Yep. And it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it is a chilly feeling, minus 4 degrees Celsius, with a wind chill of I don't know what. Definitely much colder with the minus wind chill. 12. Minus 12, alright. <laughs> and we are on J Jasper Avenue in Edmonton, Alberta, here with Megan. And we just got off a Edmonton Transit bus where we boarded at the West Edmonton Mall. And we're making our way into downtown because we'll be doing a live stream later. But I thought since we're down here before the live stream, I would just knock off a quick video walking into downtown along Jasper Avenue. This is the main street of downtown Edmonton, or traditionally has been considered the main street of downtown Edmonton. If you were to compare any street to Young Street, this would be it. <laughs> there was even an old SCTV skit where they parodied the Going Down the Road movie, which had a <laughs> humorous montage where the men from the Maritimes arrived in Toronto and headed immediately to Young Street going let's go to Young Street and then SCTV did a parody of that and they also did another parody of the same thing happening here in Edmonton where they said let's go to Jasper Avenue <coughs> so this is the the place to be although you'll quickly find it's not quite Toronto here Edmonton is a large city but it's by no means a huge city in terms of millions upon millions of people such as Toronto I think the metropolitan area of Edmonton has about 1.4 million people that's pretty big yeah but then the metropolitan area of the greater Toronto and Hamilton area has about 8.5 million people so <laughs> it's quite a quite a difference right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah that wind is cold yeah yeah, that's a... So this is Megan's first time in Edmonton. I have never been here before. I've been yeah. to Calgary a few times, but never to Edmonton. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're walking directly into the wind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That five degrees it's going to be in Vancouver is looking real good. Right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> So what are your thoughts so far as we're coming into the heart of downtown Edmonton? All the street signs are really different. Yeah. Because yeah. they've got those like green metal overhead street signs. Right. It's definitely a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. Because like when you described it to me, I was picturing like Guelph, but like more Oh, well, I told you it was way bigger than Guelph. <laughs> I know, but like... I was just picturing, yeah, like, or maybe like Kitchener. I told you it was way bigger than Kitchener, too. I said it was twice the size of London, remember? London, Ontario? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess I kind of get, like, downtown London vibes. Yeah. That was Papa John. Yeah, so, like, when the wind's not blowing directly on you, it's not so bad. Right. <laughs> It can get frightfully cold here in Edmonton. Yeah. I mean, no joke, right? I'm definitely happy to have this giant fur coat right now. <laughs> like Toronto rarely ever gets to minus 30. I think in the whole history of recording weather in Toronto, it's only hit minus 30, like... A handful of times, so you're right? Talking like baseline temperature, not ba like baseline wind. temperature. Yeah. Not like wind chill, right? Not so wind like... chill, just baseline temperature. Yeah. Like minus thirty is almost unheard of in Toronto, yeah. right? Minus twenty is rare, but it does happen. Because it'll get like minus fifteen, but that'd be like minus thirty-five with a wind chill. Like right. Minus yeah, wind chill is not temperature, right? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Whereas minus thirty in Edmonton is a regular occurrence in the winter, Ooh. right? Nope. Just temperature, not wind chill. <laughs> not something that 
Like Toronto might hit minus 20 maybe once or twice during a cold winter. It definitely did last yeah. winter a few times. Yeah, I think, cool. I think once or twice it hit yeah. minus 20. It was cold last winter. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice, yeah, when the wind stops, it's not yeah. so bad, yeah. <laughs> but how can the wind be blowing both behind us I know. and in our face? I know. Right now it's kind of pushing us a little bit. It just like <laughs> in the right direction. Yeah, like it's, right now it's pushing us from behind. <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah. Just that one is like right in our face. Yeah. You know this kind of reminds me of a little bit? What? The North York. North York, yeah, it does have a similar look to yeah. Young Street through North York Center. You're yeah. right, it does, like yeah. Rocket, like between North York Center and Shepherd. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the street is wide. Yeah. The scale of the office buildings is similar. similar. Yeah. And those brown buildings up ahead, there was yeah. a building like around North York Center across the street that looked like that. And even the look of some of the office buildings is pretty similar too, right? There's just less condos. North York yeah. Center has a lot more condos. And it even might seem a little busier than this, you know, like yeah. for terms of people walking and things like that. And way more Asian restaurants and things like that in North York Center, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a few. I've seen a few going down here. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good comparison. The skyline of North York yeah. is kind of comparable to the skyline of yeah. Edmonton. It is, yeah. Like if someone just plunked me down here and like didn't tell me where I, where I was, I would probably assume that I was somewhere between North York Center and Young and Shepherd. Right. <laughs> that's what I would assume. I'd be like on the lookout for the 401 just up ahead. Right, right. <laughs> No, that new building there is the tallest building in Edmonton now. Really? Yeah. Is it an office building? It's a mixed-use building. It has a hotel, office, and residential, I think. And oh, that... Look, look, look. The Hudson's Bay Company in 1795. Oh, yeah. Hey, cool. Oh. Company for trainers. Yeah. I just did in my, my latest YouTube video where I talked about, like wearing fur. I was like talking about how in Canada there's a little bit less of a stigma about wearing fur as like in other places because our com our country was like built on the backs of the fur trade. Like the fur trade is what built Canada and like the Hudson's Bay Company was like a fur trading operation when it started. Right. And so there's like more there's like more of a culture here for wearing fur than there is in like other places in the world. Because I know like in England, it's like super taboo. Like people will give you a really hard time in the UK yeah. if you wear fur, and it's really hard to like buy even secondhand fur in the UK. And in the States, it's like really hard to get fur, and there's a huge culture against it also. And like in Los Angeles, they actually banned the sale of fur. Like it's illegal to buy fur or sell it in LA. But like in Canada, like people are a lot more tolerant of that. Right. I think it's just more of a precedent. How can it be illegal to buy a fur in LA though? Yeah, how, can, how can they do that? How can they make that like a law? Well, they did. It's, <laughs> it's been illegal since 2019. That's when they made that law. So you can't, you can't buy or sell fur. The caveat though is that you can, you can if it's secondhand. There's All right. a law against secondhand fur. But new fur is prohibited. Huh. So I'm not going to cover too much of the downtown in this video in terms of the streets because we're going to be walking the streets after this in a live stream. <laughs> so maybe how about we make our way over to to the Edmonton Center Mall. All right.
So we'll just kind of walk the streets a bit and then we'll make our way to the mall here in downtown Ed Edmonton. And we'll go inside and that way we will be able to warm up a bit before we start the live stream. That's a good idea. Because we're going to be walking around in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down with that. I haven't been inside the mall downtown in, well, since 1997 <laughs> was the last time I was in that mall. And I think it's gone downhill since then. I think it's struggling. <laughs> There's an Enbridge here? I thought Enbridge was just Ontario. Apparently not. We're still on Jasper Avenue. It doesn't really have much of a retail presence, you know? I mean, we walked along the main part of it. Yeah. And there are some restaurants and stores, but it doesn't have a busy retail presence, really. Yeah, not like that. Yeah. Head north here. We'll hang a left. That yeah. What's that building up ahead? Which one? That one. This? Yeah, no, that big glass one. Big glass one? Where? Up yeah. ahead, see? Oh, way up there. That's the convention center. Oh. Yeah, the Edmonton Convention Center. Yeah. That's sort of built along the riverbank. So look west down on Jasper. And Edmonton has its own CN Tower. Does it? Yeah, Maybe. straight ahead. That building is called the CN Tower. Wow. And it was built, I think, in the 1960s. It was the first modern, tall office building in Edmonton. Really? Yeah, that used to be the only big office building in downtown Edmonton. <laughs> like modern looking one, right? Oh. Yeah, the CN Tower predates our CN Tower by quite a few years. Yeah, because our CN Tower was built in like the 60s, right? 70s, 70s. yeah. yeah. Right. My mom remembers when the CN Tower was being built. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Well, you're probably just a little kid. Yeah, but I remember. <laughs> was it like a big news story at the time? Yeah, sort of, yeah. So, wait, when was it completed? 1976. 
so weird to think that like the CN Tower is like it's a little over a decade older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> weird. There's the Citadel Theater over there. Well, this is a nice street here. Yeah, this is a nice looking street. Yeah. Hundred and first Avenue. And I think Edmonton City Hall is over there. Is that that like really with that tower thing? Yeah. That tower thing. Josh, will you shut up, dude? Look at that funny looking building with all the twists and turns. Yeah. That's cool. Not sure what that building is actually. It's really cool looking. Yeah. of the Edmonton LRT. This is a line running through downtown. Part of the LRT runs underground through downtown. Does it? Yeah, so it is a bit of a subway, but it's largely an above ground rapid transit line. So this is 102nd Avenue. Heck of a lot going on in downtown Edmonton right now. <laughs> There's people. I mean, it is like the middle of the day on a Tuesday. Yeah. There's people wandering around, but definitely not a hub of activity in any way that, you know, we're kind of used to seeing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But even like Toronto's <laughs> kind of quiet, like midday on a Tuesday, you won't find a lot. Sure, but it would be busier than this, yeah. right? Yeah, I've done plenty of videos of Toronto on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. And it's still pretty busy. <laughs> this is the mall, yeah. So we're going to head inside the mall here. Take a little tour and we'll thaw out a bit. <laughs> and also, maybe we can make change, get something and make change to have for the bus ride back. Yeah. Some cash and got some, I could use a bottle of water. Yeah, okay. So, this is the mall I was last in in 1997. <laughs> kind of looks the same. <laughs> this 1997, yeah. Thank you. 
So we have about 10 minutes before the live stream is set to start, so I'm going to wrap up this video. A little bit on the short side, but we covered a good portion of the main areas of downtown Edmonton anyway. What we didn't cover in this video, we will cover on the live stream. So have a... Or what am I trying to say? So I hope you enjoyed the walk. <laughs> I think this cold has sort of like shocked me, yeah. <laughs> shocked me a bit here. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. yeah. Hope you enjoy the walk. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And there's a super thanks button right down below if you'd like to support the channel that way. And you can find me on Instagram also under K Continuum, and you can find Megan under Megan Sandor on both Instagram and on YouTube now. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because as always, we will continue.